everybody, it's Patty again, and I thought I would share with you the album that I finally finished. This is um, for a swap with a friend of mine. Um, she likes country, and she wanted a country album, so that's what this album theme is: is country. Um, the heart I cut out of cut, or cut with the colossal, and I wrapped it in chicken wire. And this is just some jute string that I pulled apart, some burlap. And um, I cut the flower out of a Sizzix die. And some fabric. This was a playing card. Um, it's a Norman Rockwell. And I have like a whole set of them. They're really cute. Um, and these, the word memories, w they're actually brads. And I just cut the thing, the pulley things off and glued them right down onto the corrugated cardboard. And, of course, there's denim and some daisies that I cut with my Cricut. Oh, yeah. And then there's ribbon over here. And two charms. I got a love charm. And a little bumblebee. Isn't he cute? So let me open it. Okay. So this is the first page. And this page, I left it plain. And there's two tags up here. And there's a big tag over here. And I just distressed them. I left them plain so she can put photos on. And this, she can tuck a photo back here. And then on this page, um, let me see. Of course, I got a little piece of denim. And this is a Tim Holtz die. I forgot what it's called. And another heart that I cut with a colossal and I just wrapped it in um, Queen and Company. It was like a border thing. And a metal accent. Doily. A little daisy. And then this is a little envelope. And inside the envelope is a little like tag that she can put some journaling on. And she can tuck a photo behind here. And then, of course, there's another tag, and I have a charm and a Dodge ticket hanging off of it with some ribbon. Okay. And then over here, um, this was um, some ribbon that I had that I pleated and some lace, and I glued it down. It is open at the bottom so this album could sit in there. And this is a mini album inside of a mini album. Isn't that funny? And I just, like I said, it's just uh, a plain album. I distressed the paper with my coffee and moon shadow mist. And I stamped uh, journal spots and just a little, you know, some stamps that I had. And I bound it with a little bit of jute rope. So it's a little tough to maneuver, but like I said, it's an album within an album. Okay. And then for the next page, this page um, has a cherished charm hanging from another one of the Norman Rockwell playing cards that I distressed and another punched daisy with my Cricut. Um, this is actually a paper bag that I turned into a little pocket, and these come out, okay, and this, the, the first one and the last one have, because she likes roosters, so I did, a, there's a lot of roosters in this album, um, the fronts of them are like that, and then the back is journaling, and then this middle tag is for a photo. Okay, and then, moving on to my next page here, this is my quilt page, and she can put a photo here, and it will tuck behind these, and then there's two little tags that I stamped some thread, one has a needle and one has buttons, another burlap flower, and a little charm, scissors charm. And then this tag comes out. 
And I just, these were just some um, quilt images that I just pinned on with a little Making Memories pins. And that's the rub-ons I put on the bottom. And then there's a journal spot on the back with a little rub-on design on the corner. Okay. This page is all photo mats. I'm just going to pull and see there's journaling on the back. And then I'll pull out one of the big ones. I just tabbed them with um, die, cut, die cuts with a view. I forgot the paper. I have to think about that for a minute. And then this tag is where I put that window that I did a video on. And on the back I have a little journal spot with another um, flower that I cut out of burlap. And some rub-ons on the bottom. And then this page is that distressed paper technique that I showed you. And there's two tags with journaling and one big tag here with the journaling on the back and then there's the room for the photo and then this page is again it's not an interactive page it's she can just put a photo on it and it has another metal accent, some rub-ons, uh, prima flowers, and some another rooster image. Okay, and then this page is the back of that little mini that I showed in my last video that I made out of the Martha Stewart stamp package, stamp set package. These are the photo mats that I put on. Put behind the little band that holds the actual book closed, which I'll get to that. And I just glued on, like, in a collage form. And then this opens. I did show this in my other video, but I'll show it again. And let me see if I can get this. So there's the one page where she can put a photo. And this, you can put some small photos on this part, and it opens up to journaling. And this side opens up to another journaling page. And then we have the middle section that I just bound this to the plastic um, casing that the stamps came in. But there's tags in here, in this one anyway. And then this one's just a plain photo mat. And here's another one that has a tag in it. And she can just put photos on here. And I left this plain so she could put photos or whatever she wanted on it. And that is the end of my album. I hope she likes it. Um, it was kind of difficult because I personally really don't do country. I used to in my house but with the decor, but I hope she likes it hard finding country stuff in for scrapbooking too so I, I used a lot of stuff off the internet for the images um, and stuff the country the roosters and all that stuff but I hope you guys like it and um, let me know what you think thanks for watching